Good day everyone. So, ma-discuss kita ka Mathematics Quarter 1, Module 7, Principal Roots and Irrational Numbers. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, let's start by going to our lesson number 1. So, lesson number 1 is all about it's all about principal roots and its nature. So, we will be classifying numbers, whether they are rational or an irrational number. Okay. Let's start with what's in. Okay. So, here, you have to find for the product of the following numbers. So, when you say product, you have to multiply them. Like, say, for example, number 1. You have 1 times 1. Of course, the product is equal to... 1. <clears throat> then you have 2 times 2. The product there is 4. 3 times 3, you have 9. 4 times 4, you have 16. Okay. So you do that one until you reach number 10. Next in here is you have to identify whether the given number is a rational or an irrational number. So we will write R for rational number and IR for an irrational number. So I will do numbers 1, 2, and 3 and you will do there. Okay, this will be your work. So learner's work, okay? So here we have the number 25 and number 1. So what is 25? Is it a rational or an irrational number? Since 25, in our previous lesson, a rational number can be transformed in a form of A over B, while your irrational number cannot be in A over B. So, we cannot transform, we cannot transform an irrational number to A over B. But for a rational number, we can transform it to A over B. So, since 25 is can be transformed to a to a form of a over b it is considered to be as a rational number next we have one half of course it's still in a form of a over b it is considered to be as a rational number number three is number three a rational or an irrational number Okay. Number 3 is square root of 3. That would mean to say it has a decimal value, of course. Actually, all of them have this decimal values there. For 25, you have, <coughs> excuse me, you have 25.000 or simply the number 25. Your one half can be uh, 0 0.5. Okay. But for your square root of 3, of course, there's also a decimal counterpart for that. Let's check our. Uh, calculator. Let's try to encode it again. Uh, square root of 3. Okay, then equals. Okay, so square root of 3 is 1.732050808757. Actually, that number does not end. And we couldn't find any uh, number in a form of A over B. Mm, say, for example, if I'm going to click this SB, hindi na siya mag-transform kay fraction. Wala ka na iba na katuan. Kung this is square root of 3 lang gid, kag si decimal na nga I'm sorry. Ang decimal niya nga si 1.732050807 naman lang siya. So therefore, that square root of 3 is an example of an irrational number. Actually, in scientific calculator class, pwede mo sila ma-check. Like, say, for example, you have their one half. Okay. Let's try our fraction. One half. Okay. So, one half is 0 0.5. Pwede pa natin siya mahimong a fraction. Mm -hmm. Na. So, fraction. So, pwede siya. Therefore, it is a rational number. But for a square root of 3, hindi na siya. So, it is an irrational number. Okay. Let's proceed to the next. Okay. So, we have here what's new. Okay. 
So, I'm going to make only number 1 as an example. So, you will be answering this number 2 and number 3. Okay? So, here, the square shown on the right has a side of 1 unit. Ang go doon lang. Of 1 unit long. So, 1 unit na siya daw. Mm -hmm. 1 unit long. Sorry, pagamayo natin. Okay. So, this is 1 unit long ko, no? Hmm. Okay. Its area is equal to 1 square unit. Now, number 1, make a square with area of 4 square units. Okay. So, as you can see here, ang 1 square unit nagamatch kay 1 nga length ka na nga side. So, here, of course, since we have 4 square units, let's try to make a square with 4 units as a length. Okay, so here. So, we must start to have sa dia, nga point. Ha? Dia. So, makit na yung line 1. Ay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, nalit okay, lang. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, we created a square with 4 square units. Now, what is the length of the side? So, ano kuno ang length kadaya? Kalindi, astadia, ano kuno length ya? Yeah. So, we have 1, 2, I'm sorry, we got it wrong. Again, slang drawing, sir. Okay, we what? Okay. So, 4 units, 4 square units, you know, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we have now created a square with 4 square units. Okay. Now, it is asking for the length of the side. So, the length of the side, from here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the length is 4 units. Okay, so therefore your answer here is 4 units. Okay. Then, number 2 and 3 will be learner's work. Kamu kada obra. Okay. Now, let's try this. Using a scientific calculator on your Android phone, a scientific calculator, again, or you can use a real scientific calculator, okay. input the following and get the equivalent value. Okay, let's start with, okay, number 1, 2, and 3. I'll do that part, 1, 2, and 3. But 4, 5, 6 will be learner's work. Uh, mm. Okay, I'll start with the square root of 36. Okay, so I'll go ma to my scientific calculator. Clear it around. Square root of 36. Okay, so the answer is 6. Okay, so we have 6. Okay, next number 2. I have the square root of 64. Okay. Square root of 64. Oh, we have 8. Okay, 8. Hmm. Ano nga magbutang ka-answer? Then we have number 3, the square root of 2. Okay, square root of 2. Okay, so wala siya nag-form. I'll press SD. Okay, so we have 1.4142. Hmm. Hindi ka matanda ng number. We have... 1.4142 Kaya hindi na katanda ka number pero ito butang dot 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 sa punta. Kaya lawig doon. So, we have square root of 2 which is 1.4142 dot dot dot. Ano na siya. Let's proceed to the next. We have Okay. What is it? So, what you did there is you extracted the square root. Okay. So, let's take some terminologies in here. A real number has its principal root that can be extracted when using the symbol this one. 
that is known to be your radical sign. The combination of radical sign together with the number is called a radical. The number under the radical sign is known as the radical. Okay. So in our example, we have the square of 36. That is called the radical. Under that, you have your radical. Then, the principal root is 6. Okay. So if you take out the radical of 36, you find the answer that is called principal root. Okay. Let's define more. What is a principal root? Okay. It is a number which produces a specific quantity when multiplied by itself. It is the positive nth root of a number. So when multiplied by itself, a number which produces a specific quantity when multiplied by it so, say for example, there you have your 2 times 2. Okay, 2 times 2. The answer there is times na half 4. Or you can also have 3 times 3. You have there 9. Okay. Therefore, that number here was produced by 3 times 3. And 9 there is called your principal root. When we speak of a perfect square, it's the square of a rational number. Say, say for example, I have a rational, rational number uh, 5. If I'm going to square that one, square for no, you have 5 squared, which is the same as 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Therefore, that 25 is what you can call as a perfect square. A perfect square. Next, we have a rational number. A number that can be expressed in the form a, b, where a and b are integers, and b is not equal to 0. Then, an irrational number is a number whose decimal representation is neither terminating nor repeating. Wang hambal ikaw nga terminating the stop maghamba ka nga repeating galiwat liwat okay so hindi siya why siya ga stop kag why siya naga liwat liwat okay so earlier earlier you have tried to get the equivalent value so hanging last activity naton of course i we got the correct answer which is 6 that's 8 Okay, 1.41, dot, dot, dot. Okay, that's the same number. Notice that some principal roots are whole numbers while some are decimal numbers. That means, when a principal root is a whole number or a fraction, then that principal root is described as a rational number. When a principal root is non-terminating, why nag-stop? Non-repeating, why galiwat? Decimal number then the principal root is described as an irrational number. Okay, more of that on the next page. Okay, so in the early part of this module, ka lesson pa kanina, nag-answer kita. Okay, so until 10. Okay, so you have 25, 36, and answer nyo kanina, 49, 64, 81, and 100. All derived products are considered to be a perfect squares. Perfect squares and sila. You must familiarize yourself with the perfect squares. PS. So perfect squares and sila. Okay. Perfect squares are numbers that have rational numbers as principal roots. Okay. Moreover, taking the principal root of a number is like doing the reverse operation. So, kung mag-square up lang kita, nagabalik. So, say for example, we have 1 times 1, you have 1. Then, square root of 1 is equal to 1. Okay, let's go back here. So, we have here, product as your perfect square. Okay. If we will take their square roots, it will go back to number 1. That will be the answer. 
So, square root of 1 is equal to 1. Nagbalik siya. Tia. The same goes to your square root of 4. It will go back here. Therefore, square root of 4 is equal to 2. For the square root of 9, of course, the answer will be 3. Square root of 16, it will be 4. Square root of 25, it will be 5. So, that's what it means when it says, I'm sorry, when it says doing the reverse operation of squaring a number. Next. Okay. What if we have a fraction? Okay. So, supposing when we have a fraction 4 fifths times 4 fifths, of course, we multiply 4 times 4, which is 16, and 5 times 5, which is 25. And we know that 16 and 25 are perfect squares. Okay. So, if we take the square root of 16 over 25, we will have 4 over 5. Just get rid of the square root after. Hence, the principal root of all perfect squares, such as but not limited to these numbers, are all rational numbers. On the other hand, when a number is not a perfect square, then its principal root is a rational number. Say, for example, the square root of 2, of course, that is 1.4142, dot, dot, dot. We also have square root of 15. So, other numbers not listed in here are considered to be an irrational number. Okay. So, here, this will be your learner's work. Okay. So, I'll answer only numbers 1 and 3. Determine whether the principal root of a number is irrational or irrational. Number 1, you have square root of 49. So, square root of 49 comes from... So, I'm going to think of a number. One number multiplied by itself, the answer is 49. So, we have... Okay, 7 times 7. Okay, therefore we have 7. Therefore, it is a rational number. For the square root of 3, there is no number multiplied to itself that will give 3. So, therefore, it is an irrational number. Okay. So, you will do the rest until number 10. Okay, na lang. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Okay, this one is also learner's work. This will determine what you have learned during our lesson. Okay. This one too is the same as the previous example we have in here. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from that example. Okay. Let's proceed to lesson number two. I'm going to make another video for this.